Hey girls, so sorry that I've been away for so long. You know, a bitch has to get some money and a job and, you know, has to do all these things. So, you know, people have been busy for the past um, week or two or so. A lot of things have been happening, you know, the girls have been talking and um, all these fun things, right? So. On this Pride Month, Happy Pride Month, girls. It's finally Pride Month. Hopefully you're doing um, all these twerking and drinking if you're of age and um, showing all your uh, queer and um, gayness to the world. These straight people are having a pride of their own, but we'll get to that later. So, on this video, you know, people have been talking about this for a while, but this is my take on the situation. Um, so, I'm not sure what game it was. I think it was the second game of the Golden State Wars against the Raptors, the Predators, something. No, that's, that's rude. Um, the Raptors, I think. Um, so, you know, Beyonce was just sitting down next to her, her husband that's now a billionaire, the first billionaire, and, um, you know, in this situation, Beyonce is always minding her, her goddamn business and just living her life and just being uh, melanated and beautiful and just talented and just being, you know, a pure goddess, right? So... This white wench um, was talking to Jay Z. You know, I thought she was just some kind of like a uh, friend of theirs, or some kind of like person that was just just giving them drinks, like, "Oh, you want a coke? You want a sprite? Do you want um, chips, nachos? You know, some kind of lady that was providing them service." Because you know, why else would you sit next to do? Why why next? Why you sit next to Beyonce if you're not you know serving them or some kind of uh, financial or by beneficial um, service to them? Right. But no, 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 this girl, this woman was just reaching across Beyonce, reaching across Beyonce and, um, you know, clearly Beyonce in her face. It was just telling me that, um, uh, what the hell are you doing right now? Like... I'm trying to enjoy the game, you know, seeing all these light-skinned people playing the game and sweating and, you know, beautifulness on this court in this one arena. And here you are invading my goddamn personal bubble. I mean, we just got, we just finished seeing Amari Hardwick or whatever his name is, that candle girl was just, you know, hugging up on Beyonce and invading her personal space again. And here you are, Karen, just reaching across Beyonce, trying to talk to Jay-Z. I mean, what is your goddamn problem, girl? And now you're trying to play victim, like, oh, this, the beehive is attacking me and you need to stop this, girl. We have been here before. What are you trying to play victim like you always do? Girl, I'm just so tired of you. Becky's and all the Karens, all the barbecue girls are trying to seem like you didn't do nothing, but you could have just tapped Beyonce on the shoulder and say, girl, excuse me, I'm trying to speak to Jay-Z. Well, that's the problem there, girl. You're speaking to Jay-Z. About probably about nothing. If you're not giving them uh, Fabuloso or you know, some whiskey or some weed, because I know they had some edibles in there. I mean, you probably did. You know, whatever. Then why are you next to Beyonce? If you're not Kelly, Mich 
Miss Michelle, if you're not Blue Ivy or Julius or Solange or somebody else that's you know in the in the Nose Carter uh, group, then I don't know why you would be next to them. I mean, if you're not some kind of friend like Gabriel Union or somebody that we know that's comfortable, that Beyonce is comfortable with, but clearly Beyonce didn't know you. You didn't know her. You didn't. She didn't know you. And she was clearly giving you a warning when she shoulder tapped you and shoved you and let you know, sweet girl, you didn't know your place. Now, all these people are saying, oh, you know, the blue hive, the blue hive. I mean, it might as well be the blue hive. Uh, you know, you're very lucky that blue ivy did it. You know, well, she probably does have probably does have your address and all these things and your social security and all these things. And she probably, you know, a weird video call came up on your screen while you're on your phone or computer and say, "Sweet girl." You thought that you kind of play with them and try and be a, you try to white way your way into this, your white woman your way into this. But let me know, I have assassins, all these things, looking at you right now, watching your every movement. If you try it one more time, you will see dirt. And you will be in your grave saying, shit, uh, I messed up. And that will be your last words, girl. Now, you know, I'm not going to say that all the death threats and stuff like that are necessary. But um, you already know what kind of situation you're getting with if you're trying to deal with Beyonce. Now, you know the barbs and all these fans and stands are, they don't play no games. Like, the Beyonce Hive is like the top tier people that will probably like rip your hair out and like try to find your mama or your daddy or anybody related to you. And they will try and probably video uh, call you while they're doing it and say, this is for the Beehive. Hail Beyonce. Oh my god. Now girl, I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for your shoulder or the or the you know the legs that probably are broken now, you know. Why were you reaching across Beyonce's circumference and surprised what's what happened afterwards? And trying to act like I didn't do nothing. Yes you did, girl. Yes you did. Yes, you did, and I'm tired of you girls acting like you didn't do nothing and surprise of the reaction that you get, girl. You know what you did, and, um, you know. Now, you're very lucky that Beyonce didn't do more than just like a little shoulder shove or anything that's going to check you in your jaw or your or your chin and you're gonna cough up something girl you're very 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 lucky that you're you know beyonce has been very you know luxury and very you know established and all these things and trying not give you these girls on the shade room and stuff like that but beyonce isn't the one yeah, we all know that Beyonce has hands. You know, you see her in Lemonade with the bat, crashing stuff, cars, things. That could be your face, Karen. That could be your face. Now, you need to go back to your mayo, mayonnaise, house, all these things that you like. You know, mayonnaise, NASCAR, um, golf, um, all these things, girl, because... What happened? Just what happened? I don't know what to tell you, girl. You know what time it is, and you knew what you were doing. Maybe you didn't, but now you do. Next time, you do not mess with Beyonce again. 
Oh, no, honey, time. We have to remind you girls, don't do it. We will find you, ma'am. And that's it. That was extra. Anyway, so that's it, girls. So sorry I had to um, wait this long for a video. You probably don't watch it anyway. Um, but, you know, follow me on the social, girls. I be on Twitter pretty much all the time, talking about shit. And you can follow me on Tumblr. Same thing, talking about stuff. And then, um, I don't have a Facebook. Um, you can follow me on that, call me. I probably changed my name too. Anyway, you can follow me on that, call me on all social medias. Um, that'll be the links will be in the description box, girls. You can know, I think you have Instagram. I don't know. I'm not on Instagram. I just look at people's pictures and like them and stuff. I'm not really posting nothing on my Instagram because what's to post about? So the same thing, um, yeah, that's it, girl. Yes. Watch it, Karen. Watch it. We're all in your DMs cursing you out. And that's it. Bye, girls. Happy Pride Month.